eating a rainbow colored diet where half your plate is vegetables is a simple take home to protect your brain and pretty much everything else that could go wrong with you. (laughs) Uh, So we've got choline, we've got flavonoids and phytonutrients. What other major nutrients are an issue? Well, you know, the minerals, so the, the key ones that m- almost all of us are deficient, as you know, in zinc. Um, and zinc has become a huge issue because of COVID-19. So many mm. of the people who are deficient in zinc are reduced and have an increased poor outcome, increased risk for having a poor outcome from COVID-19. So zinc, magnesium, iodine, potassium. Those are the big four that most of us are deficient in. And then, of course, vitamin D. As you know, the study that just came out about 10 days ago showing if you take the people who are low in vitamin D, they have a much worse outcome in COVID-19 than the people who have sufficient vitamin D. And of course, Alzheimer's is no different. The same thing you see. People who are low in vitamin D, more likely to get Alzheimer's. People who are sufficient vitamin D. And of course, same thing in multiple sclerosis. High vitamin D associated with better outcomes. Outcomes. So, as you said, it's multiple diseases that all depend on these critical factors. Some of the most important things I found are B vitamins. I once had a patient yep. who was about yep. 80-something years old. She was on multiple boards, very successful woman, but was noticing depression and really severe cognitive decline. had been diagnosed yep. with MCI or pre-dementia, told to get her affairs in order. She came to see me, and I'm like, checked her levels uh, and found she had a really high level of something called methylmalonic acid and homocysteine, right. which right. are things that most doctors don't check, but reflect your status of B12, which right. is methylmalonic acid and homocysteine, which is the folate and even B6. So I basically gave her B12 shots, high doses of methylfolate, which is a particular kind. Saw she had some genes that made her need a special kind of folate. And she called me back and was doing amazing and all of her symptoms had gone away. Yeah. 